protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com And finally tonight, we talk a lot here at InfoWars about the power of transforming your health naturally. And one of the most important ways that you can do that, it's the most effective, is by cleansing the body. Now, I eat pretty healthy. Uh, you know, I work out a lot. And lately, I've been training with my good friend, actress, and fitness model, Emmy Robin. And welcome. Hi, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having me. So we had a little, you know, a little issue the other day while we were, were working out. You weren't able to show up to one of, uh, one of our training exercises because you were having a really sharp pain in your stomach. So Alex Jones and Anthony Gucciardi have been talking a lot about this liver shield detox cleanse. And I was doing a lot of research, just kind of grossing myself out, looking at all of the gallbladder infections and things like that that were out there because to me, it was just kind of unbelievable. So I was well versed in the symptoms of, you know, maybe gallstones. And so that's sort of what it sounded like to me when you were telling me the symptoms you were having. And I thought, you know, hey, well, why don't we see if, this liver shield cleanse will work for you. And then, you know, your words, you had such stunning results. We wanted to get you into the studio uh, to just tell us what actually happened. Yeah, I mean, it's very serendipitous that we started working out and that this pain started to come about at the same time. And when we were at the gym and you were mentioning this, my aunt, who is also a nurse, um, had mentioned like, that sounds like your gallbladder. Why don't you get your gallbladder checked? Why don't you go to the doctor? Well, I like to do things holistically. I like to cleanse. Um, I've never cleansed the liver and the gallbladder. I have done master cleanse before, which does get into certain organs. But um, I decided like, okay, if Leanne is offering this liver shield and I can try it, you know, what, what's it gonna hurt? Um, took it home and I went gung-ho the next day. I followed Dr. Group's uh, directions to the T um, of course, you're going to think, is this really going to happen? Are things going to come out of me? What's, you know, what's going to happen with the mm -hmm. cleanse? Um, within the first two days, I was already, you know, craving the cheese and the meat and the breads and all the <laughs> stuff that we ingest that definitely takes on the, you know, the fatty intake into the liver and the gallbladder and causes all those problems. Um, on my own, I started doing a lot of research and uh, just getting off of birth control and having been on that for 12 years, I read that you know women who have been on birth control for a long period of time, it also affects the gallbladder. Hmm. So you know, I drink alcohol on occasion. I'm in a band, so I like to drink when I play. Um, you know, but relatively, I'm relatively healthy. So I didn't know if it was my gallbladder. I just thought maybe it's gastritis, maybe it's something wrong. Yeah. Well, um, by day four, it was. Uh, the 4th of July, <laughs> I was completely sober at a party um, with a bunch of drunk people, but uh, I felt amazing. I was so detoxed by day four that I felt intoxicated, if that makes sense. I had yeah. so much oxygen flowing through my body. Um, I'm very aware when I do cleanses, a lot of them are you know 10 to 20 day cleanses. This is only five days. So it was amazing to feel what I would normally feel on day seven or day 10 of another cleanse that I've done relatively early, like day four, you right. know? And I kept thinking I'm only 24 hours away from seeing what's gonna happen to my body, not to get too graphic. But um, when day five finally came, I was, I was kind of excited, it was weird. Um, <laughs> I mean, when you're cleansing and you make it that far, it's, it's a sense of pride, um, you've mentally, overcome you know your cravings because right. you do have cravings it is hard the first day is super hard right. i mean if you can make it past the first day then you wake up the next day you tell yourself okay i made it 24 hours on a vegan diet following the instructions drinking all this i mean you're drinking tons of water i took the oxy powder stuff's gonna happen with the oxy powder obviously <laughs> Um, just make sure you're near a bathroom when you do the cleanse but it's not that bad it's not like oh i need a bathroom you know yeah. Um, this is coming from a beautiful woman <laughs> saying this. It's, not afraid it's to okay. talk about it. Not afraid. <laughs> um, but day five came. Uh, I got, you know, towards the end of the day, I did the Epsom salt flush, which is that out of everything, that's probably the most intense part of right. the cleanse is the Epsom salt. I mean, you're going to feel it 30 minutes after you take it. You're going to have to go to the bathroom, you know, 
Um, but then you do the olive oil, and that's intense. I don't know if anybody's ever chugged olive oil. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I've actually read that that's kind of a holistic way of kind of clen cleansing. But now I, we've seen the pictures because we've kind of shown a lot of the pictures. You can Google them and see for yourself. I I got to you know be honest. I really did not believe that something like that would come out of someone's body unless they were like really ill or really yeah. old or, you know, only if the, their gallbladder ruptured or something like that. Like they, that was, you know, that was only at the hospital or something like that. And you, like you said, you're a healthy person. Yeah. Since I've known you. I mean, you'll do master cleanse for 10 days. Yeah. Okay. Like really intense. Yeah. And it's like hard. That. It's a so, lot harder than this one. <laughs> this and then, so, so you've actually, that's, I mean, you saw the yeah. little pea sized gall, gall Oh, I had quarter sized um, wow. to get intense. I had about 10 quarter sized come out first and then a bunch wow. of pea sized. And it was really funny because the gallstones started to come out before I did the olive oil, which was crazy. They came out with the Epsom salt. When I did the Epsom salt, you do that right before you do the olive oil. Mm -hmm. And I had, that's when I had the big ones come out and I was, kind of freaked out because they weren't just yellow and green. Like they said, they had some black to them. So I right. knew, okay, this was already beyond a point it that- It could have gotten much, yes. much worse. And if I hadn't, like I said, this is very serendipitous. Like I feel super blessed that I was able to even do this cleanse because I got whatever that was out of me, but there's still more. I yeah. want to do it again. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be joining you <laughs> on that next adventure. So, so since you have done the master cleanse before, you've, you know, basically you don't eat on the master cleanse. Yeah. That's something where it's really intense. It's hard for a lot of people to stick with it. How much of this cleanse would you say was due to the really great diet versus the product? So, um, like I said, the first two days are really hard. It's, it's all about sticking to the diet and drinking the water and the apple cider vinegar in the water because the apple cider vinegar definitely, um, you know, it helps with the probiotics in your stomach and it'll, it'll help with a lot of those cravings. Right. The faster you cleanse your body, the faster you're going to get those cravings out of your body. With right. the master cleanse, I was still craving up till day six because I still had stuff in my intestines and colon. So, so you just mix a little bit of this in with the water. You pour a whole vinegar. bottle of this in with a gallon of water and then apple cider vinegar about two tablespoons. I do a little more because I like the flavor. And then you make another gallon of water with just apple cider vinegar and water in it. And you're alternating that, you know, you do four cups of this stuff a day and then four cups of that. And then you're just drinking as much water as you can in between. And that also keeps you from getting hungry. A lot of it is the water. You're flushing out a lot of water weight. A lot of it is the oxy powder. You're cleaning your intestines and colon. The average human carries eight to 10 pounds in their colon. They don't realize it, but you do. Yeah. And that I learned that through the master cleanse. So yes, I lost 11 and a half pounds. A lot of it could have been from my colon, but <laughs> I also feel like this is a lifestyle change. I, after the master cleanse, would ease back into food and then go right into having fried chicken and gravy and mashed potatoes because I felt like I deserved it and I earned it. I don't want any of that after this cleanse. After seeing what came out of me, I want to do this cleanse again. And I want to say you're vegetarian and I've known that about you forever. And I have always wanted to be vegetarian. I think I'm gonna stick to being vegetarian after right. this because the diet it's itself- It's shocking. Yeah, because <laughs> you feel <clears throat> so amazing from the actual cleanse, you don't realize like, okay, well, is it also because I'm eating super clean and I'm eating vegan and I'm eating, you know, macrobiotic. Well, Emmy, I'm very proud of you. You stuck with it. I'm actually quite inspired to go ahead and take this challenge and do this cleanse with you the next time around. Do you have any advice for me and everyone else out there that's, you know, a little lazy and afraid to go all the way with a cleanse? I mean, there's <laughs> nothing to be afraid of. I don't know why everybody poops, right? We all had that book growing up and I, I don't know why it's such a taboo thing. I mean, it's a, it's a healthy, natural human thing and it's not scary. There wasn't pain. You know, you might get a little cramping with the olive oil, but other than that, it's the easiest cleanse I've ever done. It's a lifestyle change. I feel amazing. Um, not just the 11 and a half pounds that I lost, but the food that I ate has now become my life and I'm gonna live by that now. I don't wanna put the bad stuff back into me because I just spent all this time cleaning it out of me. Right, so good, awesome. Lifestyle change, mm -hmm. 
less puffiness and everything <laughs> so I can, you know, feel invigorated. <laughs> you Possibly are in time for the end of the summer. Well, be sure to just stick with us, watch our journey, because I am going to take this challenge with you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys here, 7 p.m. Central. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder. Backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com.